All right, so let's go ahead and look at our last component in our pipeline, which is the pusher component. So the pusher component, so what does it do? It says it's used to push a validated model to a deployment target. Now we've not started deploying now. So here our pusher will just push our validated model to a, a folder or some directory. Usually when I build my components in the cloud, I'll push my um, validated model to an S3 location or a GCP um, bucket, something like that. And then I would use my serving infrastructure to point to that directory of my bucket and then serve my model. But here, because we are not started with um, model deployment, so we will push our model to a directory. So let's go ahead and then use um, the pusher component so the pusher component is very simple so the first thing we will do is from tfx.components import pusher and then we say from tfx.proto import pusher pv2 and then we say import OS. And then we say pusher So for the pusher we have to specify our um our model outputs, right? So we have to specify where our model is. So we have model is equal to trainer dot outputs model and then we have model blessings so we have evaluator dot outputs blessing and then we have push destination which is pusher pv2 dot push destination and then we specify what kind of a file system part so we say file system let me remove this space so we say file system is equal to pusher pv2 dot push destination dot file system I said tfx team can do something about all these um, redundant calls I mean yeah and then we specify a base directory so the base directory is where um, we want to which where we want to put our model so I'm just going to call it seven model directory and then I'm going to go into the folder. So the folder which has um, so the same location as my Jupyter notebook. I'm just going to create a new folder and call this seven model directory. Yeah, I could have just used uh, the bytes are fine. OK, so so that's what we have over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and then run this okay so hopefully something worked okay so it seems there is something wrong here um so let me just check this push destination file system push up pv2 the push destination of file system oh so i have to use this context dot run pusher yeah so hopefully something is happening in our folder so we can see that a folder gets created and then our models get um, pushed in there so what is this long name this is the utc timestamp so every model that we will push here would have a utc timestamp attached to it and we'll see the importance of having this timestamp later when we start our deployment right 
so it's done and yeah this is the final component you know yeah this is a final um tfx um component so there is something i also didn't talk about you realize that because we are using a lot of data it takes a long time for your models to finish running so if you want to check stuff out so for i made some changes um so here i'm just using only the movie reviews that start with the letter b right so that i can run my models faster and also because this is just a demonstration i don't want the whole thing to finish training so i change my number of epochs to just one All right so you can make those changes you get a feel of um, how to use it and then you can run your final model right so that you don't waste time um basing your models like run thousand or hundred epochs and then after that there is a um, an error so make sure everything works and then you can now train your model um, really really well so um that's the end of our um using tfx to build pipelines on our local environment so the next um, playlist i'll be looking at how to build these pipelines in the cloud um, using kubeflow and then google cloud and then after that, we can think about deploying our models. So keep watching and I'll be uploading more content soon.